Steven, how is this compared to climbing? It's much harder work. <laughs> and the mountain keeps still generally. Oh, you want the, the rudder to be still. <laughs> Early morning. What's the plan? Well, the plan is, uh, as we say in South Africa, we're going to make a plan, which means we really don't know what we're going to do yet, but uh, we have a vague idea. We're motoring down the coast now. We just came in from offshore, uh, four days out of Stanley with a strong southwest, with a little bit of more icing than I uh, had thought. So uh, there was continuous sea spray flying over the boat, so we've got a lot of ice on board. We've already chipped it out uh, three times yesterday. And now we're going to seek shelter in one of the bays down here, about 50 miles up. And then have a big uh, chipping session, trying to get all the ice off the deck. Uh, rig the anchor, obviously, anchor for the rest of the day. And spend the night there, have a nice leg of lamb. One of those guys in the back there, defrost that. And then get the dinghy out and rig for inshore, and then make our way down south uh, tomorrow to try to establish the, uh, the climbing team uh, down in uh, Larson Harbor or Trollhuel at the south end of the island. Fine. We're going to get back to the furlough drone so we can, we can put can some sails away. We're going to fill up the How's it going, Alec? Yeah, starting to get a bit closer before we use some hot water. Plenty of ice here, though. What are you doing here, Steve? Hey, what are you doing? Hot water, hot salt water. Okay. Free all this up here. Okay. The front ones need a little water as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's not so critical though. The main thing now is to be able to furl the staysail. Okay, of course, yeah. We got another one. So we're all right now, yeah, no. We're coming into Stromness Bay, which is quite an interesting place because there's three abandoned whaling stations, Norwegian whaling stations. The one was British from the uh, last century. Uh -huh. They were put in in the early 1900s. We're going to anchor right in front of one called Husvik. 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 Uh -huh. And then here you've just behind this little island you've got Stromness was the famous place where Shackleton arrived after he walked across the island and then a little over to the right is Leith uh -huh. which was owned by a British company called Christian Salverson uh -huh. and they were quite enormous in their day I don't know, there's several thousand people here on these five whaling stations there's one at Gritvik and another one at Prince Olaf working during the summer whaling shore-based whaling uh -huh. And after they killed all the whales in the bay, they moved off the coast and killed all the whales off the coast, and they moved offshore and killed all those whales. <laughs> and eventually, they just decided to close the whaling stations, and everything revolved into factory ships in the Southern Ocean. 
Uh -huh. Floating factory ships where all the oil was processed, caught by catchers, brought to the mothership, and then processed on the factory into whale oil, frozen meat, bone meal. They used all the parts of the whale. So it's quite a uh, interesting history, bloody history, but impressive what they, these Norwegians had accomplished back then in those days mm -hmm. from, from nothing. Is there a boat in there? Oh, yeah? 